Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me for this acrylic painting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a window box with some flowers. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think, hopefully. <laughs> I've got my husband Mark with me. Hey, there, everybody. Maybe not as much fun for him. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you step by step how to do it tonight. If you've got questions, you can ask those in chat and we'll try to answer. Let's get started. Alright, I'm using a 9 by 12 inch canvas panel today. This is a canvas board from Fredericks, their mixed media one. And I haven't done anything to it except for just drawing out our design on here. I just wanted to make sure I was getting my dimensions right. Um, I'll show you how to draw it here in a minute. Um, you're going to want some sort of a pastel chalk or watercolor pencil or something like that that's water soluble to do your drawing um, with. This one is the General's Chalk Pastel. Um, as far as the brushes go, I went ahead and grabbed some um, more angular brushes. So the the more, not angular, I guess flat, um, squared off brushes, that's the word. Um, and then I did grab a couple of angle brushes too for the flowers. So I'm going to do most of my flowers with these two brushes, a quarter inch, three inch, in, three eighths inch um, velvet touch angle brushes. And then I've got a couple of rounds just in case I need um, some rounds. These long handled with the green are the 6100 series. Um, so I've got a one and a two round there. And then I've got the 12 bright, eight bright, and four bright. And then a six bright in a different brand, but it's a little bit bigger. So I wasn't sure exactly what size I needed to kind of get in here. Um, actually may not need to use these for the inside. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I might do this inside since you can see the curtains through. I think I might do the windows just a little bit differently than I was expecting to. But we'll see what, you know, we're doing this live, so we haven't figured it out ahead of time. I've kind of just tried to figure it out in my head. But um, you never know until you get the paint on canvas. Let's, get, <laughs> let's go over our colors. I've got carbon black, burnt umber, burnt sienna, um, cadmium yellow light, and cadmium yellow medium, cadmium orange, cadmium red light, and then quinacridone magenta. So just kind of a variety of, of gold to um, magenta is what you're going to want. Just a variety of reds, um, reds and yellows, and orange in between. It doesn't have to be those exact colors. Um, got burnt, I'm sorry, unbleached. No, that, not that one either. Ultramarine blue, um, thalo turquoise, thalo green yellow shade, now unbleached titanium, titanium white and zinc white, and then we've got some gloss glazing liquid. Wow, I had a brain blip there. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so let me see here. So I decided that I wanted the um, window. I started out with the width of my window and kind of the size of it relative to the window box. It's a really large window box, kind of an interesting design, but um, it may be a balcony I can't, for all I know. I don't know. I can't tell. It doesn't look like it is, though. It's just really large and long. Um, so I've centered this. I've got 12 inches to work with here. I've got, I'm centering it in the middle here. So I've got four on the four, eight and eight here. So four inches wide on the window and then leaving four inches on either side. Um, so basically split your canvas into three parts and, and your window is going to go in the middle of it, depending on whatever size canvas you're using. Um, and then you're going to, I marked out my um, marks for the windows in the middle there too. So just split it down the middle and two on either side. And then for the tall length here, it's going right up to about um, the, almost to the half inch mark right here. Just right up at the half inch mark. And then, um, the window panes are about an inch, so they're right at these inch marks. And because we started not on a 
direct inch. I'm kind of have, and I can't even see my marks, so I'm hoping that these are correct because I've painted this so many times. I I have I have uh, messed it up. So this bottom one here is going to be the bottom of our of our um, window box, and it's going to go to about two inches and ten inches. So about two inches in on either side. That'll be our window box railing, and then. Um, <clears throat> of course you're going to come in just a little bit that these are kind of angled in the photograph. It's, it's not as obvious, but it's actually, well, actually I did this wrong. It's actually angled out a little bit on, it's actually angled this way a little bit. So maybe that way on that one. And then this, this side is angled in. It's not quite. I don't know. Maybe it's a shadow. I'm not real sure, but it looked like it was kind of angled out. You could go straight down if it bothers you. I kind of liked the idea of actually angling it in a little bit. That's why I did that. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit of a, a more of a wedge shape. But uh, And then I came down to about, oh, that's about a quarter inch from the bottom. Yeah, about a quarter inch from the bottom there. And that'll be our window box. Um, so, like I said, you can kind of come straight down if you want, or you can angle it in however you want to do it. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, we're not really seeing any kind of perspective here. It's just a little bit darkened um, based on the outside here. We're seeing this in a little bit of a shadow. So that's all we're seeing. We're not seeing the sides of it or anything. Um, all right, and then at the top of this, you're going to come up. Um, let me see. Yeah, come up to about the inch right here. But then this one's coming up about an, another half inch here. And so then there's going to be like an angle here that goes across like that at the top of the window. I'm not going to bother doing all the in interior lines right now because I'm just going to paint over them. So um, let's just paint the outside of it and get going here. How's everybody in chat? Glad to have you guys watching live with us. We missed last week, so yeah. glad to be back and feeling a lot better. <laughs> a lot better. <laughs> Thank you guys for the sweet messages. Mark and I were both down with COVID last week. It was our turn, I guess. Yep. We'd avoided it for two years. I know. We lost the Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna make okay, so about fifty fifty white and unbleached titanium and then just a dab of burnt umber and ultramarine blue here to make a kind of a gray white. I don't want it just white white. That's boring. I want it to have a little bit of warmth to it. So if you want it white white, that's okay though. I'm not going to judge. It's, it's your painting. So I just want it a little bit more color. So I'm going to go with this color all the way around. It's going to pick up that blue, so I need to be careful not to pull it out into any of the areas where I don't want color and if you wanted to you could even make this like a stucco there's all kinds of different things you could do I've done brick tutorials where you know there was um, brick in the background you could do like a little section of there's so much white space over here to work with you could do all kinds of stuff with it I'm tempted to do it but I, I do like the clean cleanliness of this scene so kind of didn't want to do too much with the background but um, I say get, get creative if you want to do, do something with all this empty space on the sides here if you want. Okay, and this bottom part, I'm not worried about it getting that blue because it's going to be darker. So let's go ahead and might as well just do it while we're doing it. Right, let's just darken it up. And it's going to come down there, It'll be darker, and it comes in a little bit at an angle right there. All right, so like that. And that maybe 
light. I don't know. We'll see. It may it may need to be a little bit darker, but we'll we'll see as we go. If we need to darken it up later, we can do that. It'll give us just a starting point. And it's okay if like this new color is not exactly the same as the background color. So what happens if that happens? If you do that, and which when you're mixing, a, you know, a color like this, that's its own. It's got, you know, four colors in it. Um, chances are, if you have to remix it, it's not going to be exactly the same. So I'm just going to go in here and just blend through. Try to get it as close, get a little closer to what that original color was by adding a little bit more white because this one's a little bit darker. And then I'm just going to take it and blend it. Basically just blend it into what I've got. And add it in other places so just kind of take it and kind of just dirty up the the waters here in other places so that that color is now everywhere and not just in this little one area here well to be noticed if it's kind of everywhere else it won't be noticed as much so just kind of camouflaging it that way all right, that looks pretty good. And I like that warmer kind of white color. It's really pretty, a little bit more welcoming, I think. And let's go ahead and take this same color. And I'm just gonna get my blue. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go probably like, I don't know, a shade or two darker. So if my, let's see. All right, so my background color is this, and my uh, my reference photo shows that this is like this. So we need to get this color to be closer to this, and then that area below it is actually closer to this. So look how much darker we need to go. It looked dark enough, but it's not quite dark enough down there, because this is darker than this here. So I need to get a color, mix a color here, and I'm just using that ultramarine blue and burnt umber again. And I'm just going to make a darker kind of that color right there. Yeah, that looks good. So that's what this color is going to be here. And then it'll really be noticeable against that lighter color that's on the side of here. And I just got it on there. Dark. Trying to stay clean here. Definitely need to be darker underneath there. It looked dark, didn't it? But until we get this on there, and then now it's definitely not dark enough. And it's actually a little bit lighter at the very bottom. So there is like a little bit of a variation in the color. So there's like a highlight that goes kind of across the bottom. A little bit. We just have to get this in so that we can paint flowers. That's all. All this boring stuff is just so we can paint flowers. At least for me. <laughs> I, it's the payoff. So if I do all this stuff, then I get to paint flowers later. That's what I'm telling myself right now. <laughs> too dark that's closer to that so maybe a little lighten up just a little bit area be a little bit darker 
And there is like a kind of some sort of a red red line, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't know. I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'm not sure I want it. try to jump in there and do them fast they I end up making a mistake and then I have to takes me longer to fix it so take your time go slow shake out your arms get all the energy out so you relaxed the ruler too for these if you want. I actually thought I might. I brought my tape out so I thought I might tape off the windows but I don't think I'm going to now if I'm kind of too far going <laughs> already. But okay so we're good and I, I want to um, soften that up a little bit. I've got kind of a weird little deal going on right there. Just kind of a hard edge. So I want to get that background color there. Get that darker color and I want to put it in but I want it a little bit softer where it meets the light. Same thing here. A little bit of a softer color over that a little bit. And again, I've got a kind of a new color here, so I just need to brush it out a little bit so it's in a couple other places. Maybe get a little bit more white. Make sure your background is dry before you try to do this too because if you're trying to blend and everything and your background is not quite dry, it'll cause problems. So, all right, that'll work. Do it like that. Get that lighter color over here. Go over that. And then get my darker color. amazing you got that little bit of lighter color down here a little bit darker at the top and then that dark shadow at the bottom and it kind of pushes it forward and it just just takes a little bit of a little bit the right colors in the right places the right values in the right places by values we just need dark and light okay that's good so let's check our values here so we've got this color here, and then this this is right in here. And we probably went a little bit dark on that section. It's probably closer to that, kind of maybe in between. But it's close enough, I think, that it'll work. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> and most of this upper area here is going to be covered by flowers, so I'm not too concerned about it being just so... Um, might be if I was not putting anything in here, you know, if it was just just going to be this and that's it, you know, might 
clean up these edges a little bit better but most of this is going to have a bunch of stuff covering it and so the only part that's really important is down here and I probably still need to go over that one more time to clean it up just slightly but how's everybody doing I think that they're doing okay good I haven't taken a formal poll okay but I'll speak for the majority of them Nice. They're doing all right. Doing all right. Good. Very good. All right. I think I'm going to switch to a little bit smaller brush. This is the 8 Bright. And I'm going to use this to do my window. And so um, let me see what my, how dark my window is inside. I'm just holding my value scale up to my screen here so I'm getting an idea. So my curtains are in this value range here. There's some areas that are a little bit lighter that are, that are in here, but for the most part, they're pretty dark. And I'll just pick a color. I don't know. Let's see. I'm seeing some green in there, so let's go ahead and do them kind of greenish. Why not? I think it's the reflection from the window, from the trees in the window. But we'll just use that turquoise and some burnt umber make a dark dark green that'll work i think and this time i do want to make up enough of it that i don't have to do this again so i'm going to get a pretty good amount here i probably should have done this with my palette knife because now i've got a lot of this color i'm going to waste but I want to use it down here. That's why I'm mixing up extra because I want to use it in my foliage so that I have it in multiple places. So I'm going to scoop it up on my brush. I'm trying not to get it up into this area. You can see I'm kind of, I'm not pressing down too hard with it as I'm mixing. And I'm going to just smush it, just twist my brush and kind of smush as I twist to kind of get most of it off there. I need more white. <clears throat> I'm going to put... Just, we used a lot of white because we had all that white in the background. I can get some white here. And then I'm just going to adjust this until it's about the right darkness that I want it to be. So. I want it to be kind of in that range. That looks about right. Um, and then I want it more gray because the the green is going to be in the cross pieces too. So I don't want it to be too too green in there inside. So I'm going to just get a little bit of black, a little bit of more of the burnt umber, and I made a gray. So let's see. Yeah, that's going to be about right, I think. It may be a little bit dark. Let's add a little light. Okay, that's going to be good. All right, so I'm just going to use that. This will be really nice underneath our green, too. It'll complement it because it's got the same green in it. Um, so this is our curtains that we're painting now and I'm painting over all those nice lines that I drew I need to maybe mark where four and a half four and a half, three and a half it's on the halves okay, you, you remember that didn't, weren't you ever told not to talk when your mouth is full? Sorry. So you said one and a half and three and a half? Well, it's on the half. It's, on the half. Yeah. All right, I got a brush in my mouth here. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to set it down because it's got paint in it. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to make this easier on myself. And tip it. I'm going to go just underneath where I need it. 
because I want my white to show. And make sure you get that really good and down right along that edge. And I'm going to do right here. <clears throat> Leave yourself a little bit sticking up so you can get it off easy too. Don't tape the whole thing down. Make it a little bit bigger than you need and leave a little bit to grab. Gonna go in here. Okay. And at the top, just kind of. Set it down and pull. It'll bend a little bit. You may get a little... You'll have to rip it over here. So you can get it to turn. Kind of like sewing. The corner, you know. Sewing around a curve, you kind of have to cut. Do this again right here. And just go straight right there. It's close enough. I'll clean it up when I clean when I paint that edge. I don't want to go too much longer because my paint's drying. Here, okay. There we go. So I'll clean up that top edge. It's not perfect, but it'll do for now. When I do my curve, it'll clean. curtain streaks so I'm gonna get some white here and I'm just gonna pick a spot and make streaks in my dark paint here blend them out a little bit in places they're not all gonna be the same some of these areas there's more of the background showing there like right in the middle here there's a dark area so I'll need to go back over that and add a little bit of a dark spot so I'm just kind of blending out the edges though kind of want the middle parts of these to be a little bit brighter than the it's just like they're flowing you know bending and stuff. I'm not doing a very good job of keeping my line straight. But the nice thing is these are curtains, so you know it doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna get this dark dark color here and make a little peekaboo over here where the curtains are open. That's the good thing about curtains and husbands. What? They don't have to be perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And neither do I. In the same. <laughs> you don't have any problem with that, so. Other than you. Or going back on your your agreement to sleep in the spare room. When did I agree to that? Last night, <clears throat> when we were talking about getting you sick. Yeah. We're having grandbabies, and the last time we had the grandbaby, we've only got one right now. We're gonna have two this year. Two more. Two more. Both of our older two sons are having kids. And a month apart, so we're really excited. 
and I'm telling Mark. Last time, <clears throat> let's just say Mark has a Mark has a um, history of getting me sick. Allegedly, bringing home things and not telling me that he's not he's actually sick and like uh, and allegedly having allergies that <clears throat> allegedly then turn into my cold. Allegedly. Which I then have problems with. So, anyhow, may or may not have happened last week. And may or may not. There's, there's no evidence. He's still saying, never mind. I'm not even going <laughs> to go there. Anyhow, oh, he's not allowed to make me sick before this because the last time he brought home something and gave me a cold right before Liam was born. Allegedly. And I had to wear a mask and stay away from him and couldn't hold him. I only got to hold him on the last day we left. And it just about killed me. And so <clears throat> somebody's sleeping in the other room up till probably all of October and November. We'll see. <laughs> so all I'm saying is that <clears throat> we are currently both scheduled to go to the same three-day music festival the weekend before, so you're not going to be able to pin anything on me. Oh, that's true. Oh, man. Oh, that's dumb. What were we thinking? We're going to have to stay away from people. (laughs) We have to be like, back off. We'll get one of those hazmat suits. I need one. I am not getting sick this time. All right, just adding a little... Tricks of brown. I'm not loving this, but I think that it'll look better when we add stuff on top. It's just like right now, it's not looking like much because we don't we don't have anything else in front of it. I'm just adding streaks of. I'm trying to think about what where the panels are laying and what is happening with this fabric. So where I'm seeing, you know, maybe lighter areas. I'm trying to leave some darker bits in between. Added a little bit more of the burnt umber here to the fabric. There we go. Okay. More light. Right here, a little bit more of a lighter color, right where it opens, which is just off center, so you can see it. So it's just on one side of center. And make sure I'm going all the way down here and not stopping before the end of my line, otherwise our curtains are going to have weird cutoffs and things in them. That's starting to look a little bit flowy, right? I'm starting to see it. It's getting there. That's a little light, but I can fix it. Just if I put the light right up next to the dark, then it looks like it's really crisply folded. But if I have a little bit of a flow of color in between, then they look like there's a little bit more of a rolling not a fold, but a kind of a roll. So it's just going to depends on how you want your fabric to look. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let me check my values because I'm thinking I might get them, might be getting them kind of light. They're, they're, they're in that range. They're kind of in here. The lighter values are in there, which is okay because that's kind of what I'm seeing. In the picture, I think we're okay. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. Let me see here. I'm going to go a little bit dark along the edge there and along the edge here. So I have a little bit of a dark, dark area right there and then along the top all the way across. So I'm just going to get a little glaze 
and hope that is dry enough. It's dry. I don't want to lift off anything, but I just want a little bit of a... Let me get that cleaned out. So get a little bit of my glaze and get some dark, darker color. And I'm just going to kind of go along the top here. I am lifting off color. Yeah, see what happened there? It wasn't dry. Oh, dang it. I got a little too anxious. I'll try to blow on it. It's all right. Okay. That was germ-free blowing also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> hey, you, you did pretty good on the show on, on Sunday <coughs> for the Patreon bonus video. I did. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and you did a great job too, Mark. Oh, well, thank yes, you, you so did. much, honey. You did. I appreciate that. You did. I didn't know I was supposed to be complimenting you. I didn't know that's what that was. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Don't make my fans come out. That's true. Mark's got some... He, you either love him or you hate him. I think that's pretty much Mark. He's got, he's got several people Very who polarizing. are very much anti him talking in the background during my videos and then I've got <laughs> I got somebody the other day that was just like her art's okay but the real star is the dude talking if she would just let him talk more exactly. it would be better I kind of think it's your mom <laughs> I want to say ever since she found out that we were doing this yeah I kind of think <clears throat> she probably my mom bless her We've been doing this for how many years? I've been know. doing this with you for probably seven years. Easily. You've been doing this for longer than that. Oh, know. yeah. <clears throat> Over 12, maybe, I don't know, 10, 11, 12. It, it took my sister to say something, and she was like, oh, I didn't know. I'm like, well, because <laughs> when I talk about it, we kind of change subjects after a little bit, so I, I just don't push it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mark's, Mark's sister... <clears throat> has a friend that watches so shout out to friends. her friends if i can't remember don's friends names but well, i think they know him. her as sam okay sam that's right let me see anyhow so sam told mark's mom that we were doing this i i have a sneaking suspicion that she's the one that was like you should let him talk more. So, Kari and Margaret. Kari and Margaret. It's been a couple of weeks. We should have shouted them out a, a while ago. Yeah, I, I looked for them in chat and stuff, but I didn't see anybody. So. Let me just watch the replays. Very cool. Small world. Yeah, Mark's sister went to their house, one of them, and saw one of our paintings there and was like, oh, that looks like my... Sister in laws. <laughs> <She's> like, what? <laughs> oh, look what we did. Dang it. <sighs> How did that happen? I didn't do a very good job on my taping. I, was, I failed. Well, good thing this isn't a class on taping. Fail. That's all right. It looks okay, the rest of the thing. Let's see. It looks like it might be still wet, so we may get lucky and be able to wipe it off. Let's see. I'm going to use my thumb right there, right along the edge. Oh, my gosh. Look at how lucky we got. Ooh. We got so lucky. Nice. Excellent. All right. So there we go. We've got some shadowing going on. It's awfully green. I don't know why it, I it ended up so green. I don't like that green. I don't think. Mm. It's well, a, it's okay. 
it's okay. It's your painting. It's true. I can make the, I can make the panes like darker. I can make them black. If you do some other shades of green in there, it'll look camouflage patterns. It'll be awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I've got that area there that I lifted. It is still not quite. It's not dry. Let me try. Ooh, that's thinner. Ooh, it just does not want to lay down right there. Fitzy. <laughs> is it thunder, you Yeah, it was thunder, Fitzy. It was like, mm. Let me get a little bit closer. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, he, he moved a little closer to me. <laughs> okay, well, we're just going to have to call that good. Um, be careful when you're taping it. Maybe try not to. Maybe don't do the curve. I don't know. Maybe don't tape that part. Although, I don't know how you wouldn't do it. You might just have to do your background over in that area. Um, okay. What do I want to do next? I'm thinking. Think, think. Let's go ahead and do... I'm just, like, trying to let that dry. I need to do something else while that dries. You can show your bonus. Let's... Um, yeah. Where is it? <clears throat> this is that one that we painted on Sunday. The $5 level Patreon bonus video. We do it once a month. And look at the little bee. So cute. <laughs> that was a picture by Jane Yates, our moderator. She's from Australia. So shout out to Jane. Australian bee. Yeah, it's an Australian bee. And, uh, yeah, he was busy. Just she took a video of him, like, rum having, having, a, a, having a blast in the flower. Having flower. A, cup of, a cup of nectar. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we painted it. He was so cute. Painted it for our $5 level Patreon folks. They get, for $5 a month, they get traceables for all of our videos and they get those extra bonus videos that are usually you know longer a little bit more in depth and um yeah we have we have a good time with them and then for the ten dollar level we're working on a project this project i'll show you we're not very far we missed a week last week because i was sick but we're doing animals of asia um, I had to take the giraffe out because apparently they're not from Asia. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Did it migrate? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. There's going to be a tiger down here and a deer and a slow loris uh, with the deer antlers. And this one is not done yet, so don't judge. But, yeah, it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. It's going to be a new series. We'll do... Um, at least, I don't know if we're going to do Antarctica because it's not as exciting. We'll see. I don't know. We'll, I'm not into that one, but we'll, well do at least, at least you can use five a more. In and I learned something new. I learned that Australia is called, now called Oceania. Oceania? Is that true? It all, is true. To all of our Australian friends? Uh, I don't know, but I think it's... Well, they're all it, in it chat, was, so we'll find out. Okay, good. <clears throat> I, that was news to me. I didn't know that their continent was called us Oceania. Oceania. I think that's right. I think it's Oceania. It sounds like a science fiction. It show. does. I know. Like that was. Are they saying yeah? Uh, all of a sudden, they became very quiet. <laughs> I'm just adding some of that white around there, cleaning up a little bit. And I'm going to clean up that corner there since I'm waiting for my window to dry. Waiting for paint to dry. Just got a little bit darker here. A little bit brighter, I should say. With my color right up along there. Oh, my God. We have we have one that says never heard of that. I'm tired tonight. I'm sorry. <clears throat> this I'm not painting very well tonight. I feel like being a little bit lazy. I'm tr I'll start. 
I'll slow down. I'm still not quite a hundred percent. I'm feeling 90, 95 percent better than I was last week, <laughs> but still not quite a hundred. <laughs> Just. Ooh, we are getting some thunder. So we had one not, one of them say not, haven't heard of that. And then another said that, hmm, not sure. Uh, okay. Not we'll wrong, but it, it, but it may also include New Zealand or something. Yeah, it, it includes New Zealand and a bunch of island nations. Um, so, I think Taiwan was one, maybe, I want to say. I don't know. It was... Like I said, if you look up the continents, it's there. It's it's mm. like Google it. You, you, it's one of the thing. It some of them say Australia slash Oceania, but I don't know who decided that. Like, who gets to decide these things? Exactly. Is it NATO? Do they? Because I want to be able to make up some names. I know. Yeah, who voted on that name? What would your name be? I mean, it makes sense for what it is, Oceania. It's kind of a cool name since it's like, you know, island nations. Barbie land. Barbie land? Mm -hmm. No. No? I don't even know. <clears throat> but for <clears throat> shrimp, shrimp on the Barbie? Exactly, because that's <laughs> where you cook your shrimp. <laughs> Sad that I knew. I'm just a little disappointed in myself right now that I got that joke. You made that connection. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I need to stop messing with this because it's getting worse. I liked it better before I started messing with it. All right, oh, there we go. And again, all of this is going to be covered by flowers. So I don't know why I'm really worried about it. I'm trying to get kind of a even gradation of color without having to redo the whole thing. Okay, so basically just added the a little bit darker colors. We're, all of these grays are the same combination. It's ultramarine blue and burnt umber, and then the, my two whites in varying degrees. So not a whole lot. I kind of like, there. there's like this little weird smudgy right, right, right there, but I kind of like it because it looks like that's shadowed slightly. Like, you know, I don't know. It doesn't bother me, so I'm going to leave it. Um... Let me think. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put, I don't think I'm going to put my red line there, but I might just do a little bit of a, a whiter, like a lighter. I don't know. Should I put the red line? I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to go with my instinct here and not, not do it. Let's go with the darker though. Let's, let's go maybe a little bit of burnt umber. I feel like the red line is just going to draw the eye and oh my goodness this is the bad thing about painting on white I don't really like it because I have to be more careful and I'm kind of a messy painter it makes me I mess up okay I'm gonna use this and just do like a ledge here and clean that edge up just gonna be a little rail or something lip on the there we go much better okay so we've got like a little that looks good I like that I like it I'm gonna get a little bit of that gray here I've got some again I, I, I need to stop fussing with it because it's gonna be fine and this is dry now so let's go ahead and work on our window all right <clears throat> and now I've got a brown line there that has to dry before I can 
to anything. Just clean it off my hand. Okay, so apparently there's like 13 different countries or providences that make up Oceania. <clears throat> Australia, of course, is the largest. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Let's find my things and just mark them out. Use my. So there's my center line. There's five and seven. Okay. And then we said the halfway marks, right? So we got half, one and a half. Can't see that one. I think it's right here somewhere. Okay, and then that one is right there. All right. Using a T-square makes this a lot easier because then we know they're going to be straight. picture. I think my window's too wide. It doesn't really matter though because it can be whatever we want it to be. Windows aren't all exactly whatever. This is our window. We can do what we want. All right. Let's do... Should we do black? I don't know. I kind of think... Black might look good with the green curtains since we already messed those up. We might as well do them different, right? And I think, let me think, what do I want to do? I've got a couple ways that I could go with this because I want to do reflections in here. So I could either do the panes and do the reflections inside the panes, or I could do all the reflections and then paint over the reflections with the panes of glass. But since I did my lines, I'm gonna I'm gonna save myself the trouble of having to do those lines again and put my paints in. <laughs> I think that's that's the better plan. <laughs> so we're gonna do black. Just cause. Because that green turned out so green in my windows. And I'm having to come out a little bit because of the bleeding, which is okay. And I'm going to press my brush flat so I get a good straight line on it and try to get about the same even all the way down here. And I think I'm going to... This may be a little wet. I don't know. Let's see. Yep, it's a little wet. I could tell as soon as I started doing it because it was too juicy. Mm -hmm. Let's get that off there before it sets. Try that again. Okay. <clears throat> what time is it? Okay, we've got about an hour again. Let's see how long I'm. I'm going to turn it because it'll be easier to paint it if it's kind of on its side. And let's try that again. And I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, no, I'll just do this. I just need a little bit more paint and less water in my brush. I've thinned it out because it's easier to do straight lines when it's your paint's thinner, but I just thinned it out a little too much. 
Okay, let me try that again. And I think I'm going to tape this. I don't have to deal with. <coughs> Excuse me. just do a coat on it and clean it up that's better and then I was able to do that faster too which made it a little bit nicer um, and I might go a little bit thicker with it just a little bit just a little bit wider with those go so we'll just make sure that I'm really cleaning that off really well each time I do it so I don't get make a mess on there so I'm gonna come out just a little bit what do you well how are you gonna paint the inner models? Can you do that one with okay I would flip it over yeah I would do it that way all right so, good idea engineer in me. Try to press down about the even even pressure on here to get them smoothed down and kind of clean that up a little bit. That one looks wiggly. It is wiggly. I don't know how that happened. See, I didn't wipe it. Oh my goodness, Angela Anderson. <laughs> you know better. I'm talking to myself right now. Jeez. Okay. Well, the nice thing is we're gonna be we're gonna be putting our highlights and things in the windows, so we'll cover all that up. It's all right. We'll just pretend we meant to do that. I'm going just to the in to the outside of the line too because if you do it right on the line, it will be offset because your line isn't you know is thick thicker than the width of your um, Ruler, you're not doing it right up against it. You're coming out from it a little bit, so you gotta adjust your line for that. All right, I'm getting paint on there, but I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. do this to myself I like the look of painting windows and doors and things but it, when it comes to actually doing it I don't really enjoy it that much to be honest <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> just being real I'm just like this kind of sucks <laughs> I don't like having to do straight lines <laughs> being a that's why you don't right do now. city scapes or stuff like that all the time well, it's making a mess. I just don't, I don't enjoy it. 
That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the fun part here, I promise. If you can get through this part, this is the worst of it right here. It's all these little lines. And I need to get a smaller brush, so I'm just going to switch to a round brush because I think it's going to be a little easier to do these lines with it. This top one, you're just going to be on your own. You're going to have to do it by hand. And I'm just going <clears> to <throat> turn it around here. Okay, there we go. Not too bad there. There is a, now that I'm seeing it, there is a little a little um, shadow that we need to put up there too that we missed, so. And I think I'm gonna go over my lines here with this. It'll be a little bit more even. little bit wider than these. Yep, that's better. This line is wiggly. I'm trying to straighten it out, but it's kind of fine in the middle, middle of it and going down. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's do our side pieces. I'm just going to do them by hand because I'm done with that ruler. I'm kind of going a little bit above the line. All these ones. I think I'm getting them a little crooked. We'll see. Yeah, I think that one went up a little high on that side. Okay. There we go. That one looks crooked right here too. How'd that happen? That's weird. Might be an optical illusion with that curtain, but that one looked like it was angled in a little bit. Alright, that's better. And let's get some white now. And we'll just put a little dusting of white kind of along some of these, like in the middle. Just the tiniest little dry brush. It's just going to add a little 
dimension to that and make it not so flat looking. And I'm not trying to do it all the way up. I'm just kind of trying to you know, get a little, you can see, just messing it up a little bit. What are you laughing at now? <clears throat> Pitsy just came over here and just kind of scratched like, hey, how you doing? Hey, Dad. Do you hear the storms? He doesn't like thunderstorms. We're going to get no sleep tonight if this continues. It's in celebration of his birthday. That's true. He's, he's two years old tomorrow. I don't know if it's pickle. Or if you're in Australia today. Huh? Or if you're in Australia today. Yes, right. All right, let's get a little bit of blue. I like to use a little bit of blue when I'm doing window reflections just because the sky is usually involved and a little bit of blue doesn't hurt. And I'm going to use kind of 50-50 um, the zinc white, which is a transparent white, and my titanium white. <clears throat> And let's start by putting some bevels in my glass. There's some. Bevels. And again, this is, we'll kind of clean up our black as well. And these bevels aren't everywhere but you're seeing them just a little bit peeking out here and there. So just find, you know, little, little, little places in here. They're right up next to the glass edge. Some of them are really obvious and some of them are very faint. This is fancy glass in these windows here. It's even got some sort of a pattern, but I'm not going to bother with the pattern. It's not noticeable enough to make it worth the time to do. But if you wanted to, you could. But. Just... And there's actually some, like, browns that I'm seeing, so I'm going to get a little bit of burnt umber. Here and doing some of these, I'm going to do kind of these upper ones here. I'm going to do with some burnt umber in them, a little bit of brown. Or I'm sorry, burnt sienna, I mean, like a little bit of, it's like a reddish brown color. It's probably something that's reflecting somewhere, but these bottom ones, the ones that are right up underneath the The ledge are reflecting a little bit of brown for some reason. Right, and then going back to that blue. I'm seeing a really obvious one right here on this one. Get a little too much, you can just wipe it off. <clears throat> it kind of messed up this edge when I was doing it, so I'm going to clean it up with a bevel. For me, the bevel is helping push those curtains even further back. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Definitely. Trying to keep them even too, though that's that's the thing because you don't want some of them to be thicker than others. Um This is 
the way to kind of clean up any little mistakes in your lines too kind of helps kind of yeah you can just kind of bump stuff around a little fix any issues <clears throat> And again, don't do them on all of them. Just gonna kind of hint at them here and there. That'll make it look a little more realistic, too. And it's what I'm seeing, so it's I'm not making it up. It is what it is. All right. That looks good. And now let's do our window reflections. Um, and I'm realizing now I probably could have gone a little darker even though my curtain is there, but too late now. And we're going to go pretty bright. This is, should be about as the same brightness as the, as the background there. And I'm just going to fill in. And since I've got leaves, a leaf pattern, I'm going to paint the negative space around the leaves so I'm going to try to leave some like leafy type holes in there so the dark will be the leaves okay hope that made sense but and leave a little bit of that darker green at the top here but Okay, here we go. Let's do the next one here. So this one I'm seeing. Leaves all through. made these too small up here. I don't know why I did that. Well, if it's all right, that's okay. I'm going to bring the leaves down here a little bit farther because I covered. I like that in the upper one there, so try to give this a little bit more of that leafy look by just dotting my lines around it and leaving the leafy shapes in the dark. Okay. And trying to get some bright white areas kind of in the middle. Yep. Starting to see it. Okay, and then there's just some little areas, random areas on some of these that have the leaves. There's a big tree here, and so we're seeing the little light peeking through the leaves <clears throat> just a few areas This is one of those things that'll help if you just kind of take a step back every now and then 
look at it because it, when you're like right here in it, it doesn't look very good. Like if I really kind of focus on what I'm doing here, I'm kind of like, eh, this doesn't look good. But then when I look at it from a distance, I'm like, oh no, I see it. You, you know. Like that, it looks like trees. Right, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a little bit of the burnt umber with or burnt sienna color with that I was using before with my light and I'm just going to use that with the I add a little bit more glaze so this these ones are a little more translucent. I'm going to use that in some of these. And I can even kind of, you know, try to alter my curtains a little bit. I wouldn't try to do too much of that, but you can kind of, you know, if you want more lines in your curtains, you can do that with this color. And So that's, there's our window. Let's go ahead and do our little shadow up here. Burnt umber, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and ultramarine blue, not burnt sienna. And my white and my burnt umber, or unbleached titanium. Man, I can't say my name colors right now. All right, and then I'm gonna go right above right here. Do a little shadow nook. The alcove is shadowed. The window is sitting. There. Getting my black and kind of cleaning up that line because I kind of went over my black a little bit. Here we go. There we go. So we've got a little alcove. Got our shadows on our windows here. Highlights. I like it. Looks pretty good, I think. Let's paint some flowers. 720. All right, we need to get going here. Somebody would like to know if they could use titanium uh, buff. In place of the unbleached titanium. Yes. Yeah, they're almost identical. Titan, uh, unbleached titanium is a little bit more um, yellow. And a Titan buff is a little bit more neutral with a gray, almost gray. But it's, yeah, they, they work. The main thing is just to have a, you know, kind of a warmer white use occasionally. That's what I like to use it for. Just an off-white color. It's helpful to have it pre-mixed. Alright, let's paint some flowers. I'm going to get my cadmium yellow or cadmium yellow medium and green and thalo green yellow shade. 
I'm going to make a bright yellow green here. And then I've got the darker version. And then I've got the turquoise here. But let me go ahead and just kind of start with this. And there's some vines that are coming down here that I'm seeing. I'm just going to push my brush down to get a, get a little bit of white here. So I've got kind of a three versions of the same color. This one. Okay. Do some over here. Just kind of using the tip of the brush to create my lines there. And you also want to kind of start with your greens, even though it's fun to get in there with the flowers and get them going. But having these greens in there underneath is really important. bring it up here even though I'm not really seeing where these end because they've got flowers in here but I want the greens to be all underneath the flowers so I'm just gonna dab this across there okay <clears throat> then I'm gonna get my turquoise that had the burnt umber I think it maybe had black in it, did it? I don't remember. Fitzy's like, hmm. And I'm gonna do my eucalyptus. Just little lines across. It's pickle, what's the matter? Are you grumpy? You don't like the rain. It's no good. be adding lighter colors to these but I'm just kind of laying down the drawing them out really right now where they're gonna go get a little bit of white here 
start adding some white to the, some of these. The eucalyptus has that really nice teal color. Just kind of keeping them flat if I can. Continue that. Kind of flat disc shape. I'm exaggerating the colors a little bit too so that I have a little bit of different colors. I want kind of some blue greens and then some kind of neutral greens and then some of these yellow greens. So And uh, real quick which brush is that? This is the three eighths inch angle. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah, I think I switched and didn't mention it. Okay. And these should go up to the second row of panes, so don't be stingy with them. Really, that's what gives it depth. So, having that layering. Over here, there's some ferns. I'm gonna see if I can get it with this brush. I may have to switch to another brush. But I'm just gonna kind of zigzag. That looks all right. these corners really kind of come out give it a little more movement around the corners here so I'm going to do the same thing over here yeah, there's, there's some like grasses over here let me get some white thin lines here. Lots and lots of them. That's the key. It's just to kind of really do it until you can't really tell where they line, they start and stop. They should all be kind of a mass together. You want them individual, to see the individual lines, of course, but you don't want to be able to see
you want them to kind of go into an area where they kind of disappear. That's the that's the idea. It's just to kind of make sure that they kind of disappear all up in together. So as they come out, they'll separate out and become, you know, separate little leaves and things. But when they come down in together here, this area should be kind of chaotic. Lots of things going on where they all meet up. darker green and do some dark greens on my ivy for some contrast. Some of these are really dark in here. left so I'm just going to add some turquoise to this color that I've got. getting there. A lot of really interesting things happening in here. And from here, I mean, you can <clears throat> basically paint in any color of flowers that you want. Absolutely. To meet, yeah. to match your decor or favorite right. flowers or anything. Yeah, definitely customizable really mm -hmm. easily. <clears throat> Easy to customize it to your, your favorite flowers, whatever. Quickly, I'm gonna get a different brush so I can do some squiggly lines. Let me get the one round here and some white. My little bit of my green and that yellow, cadmium yellow, medium. And let's go ahead and kind of start with the with the green. Okay. 
I'm not sure I like that. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, the greenery for me looks really cool. I was thinking if you like did ferns or something with the green mm -hmm. window uh, shades, not window shades. What are they called? Drapes, curtains. Mm -hmm. Would look really neat too. Do what? Just the green. Just like green tones in the whole thing. Oh, just with, greens, yeah. yeah without Only, any of the colors, yeah. yeah. For sure, yeah, definitely. I think this is pretty just on its own. It's like a little, little skinny, skinny liner brush right there. <laughs> 20 out. It's very thin. And I ruined it, so it's not really. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't want to mean to bring up bad memories I here. I just realized it was not holding together there, so really not usable if it, if it doesn't make a straight line for you. Kind of the point. All right, so gonna just do a few more of these and then we'll start on our flowers and be done. It always takes me a while to do the straight lines, but it's worth it. It's it's a neat backdrop for this. I kind of I like how the window turned out, so it looks pretty cool. Okay. And I will say that the <clears throat> the window box looked too dark for me earlier, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. now that you have everything else on top of it, and now right. it, it's just perfect. Yeah, it needs the shadows. Yeah. So that grayscale really helps. Yeah, it does, for sure. It does. Yeah, because it yeah, it's deceptive. Without the other values around it, you don't really see the the how dark it really is until you get you know, the other colors on top of it. Just doing some dark, kind of leafy. Leafy stuff. Just trying to kind of fill in some of these areas. I want to make sure that this is really nice and dark back up here because once I start putting flowers on, it'll be harder to cover the green parts up naturally. Um, all right, let's get some yellow, cadmium yellow light and my cadmium orange there. And I'm gonna just clear. 
cluster some different flowers here. They're just small little bitty ones. Dots is really all we can we need to do right there to get the look. And then we can go back in with a little bit of cadmium red light and add some centers. That looks good. Uh, let's see. There's more of this color over here. We'll do some kind of facing down here. These little roses look like maybe. Get some more white and some more of the yellow. Go a little bit brighter white or brighter yellow here. Do some roses. Just putting in the kind of circular shape there. And then get a little bit of the darker color, put in the center. A little bit more of the reddish color. And just swirl it around kind of in the center a little bit. <clears throat> I think roses are one of the easier ones to do because to paint because our brains are already kind of programmed to look for them, you know, recognize them and when we're doing flowers, you get those circular shape a little bit of a regular border and your brain's already kind of trying to tell you it's a rose without having to do a whole lot of work so I think we kind of As you get the, the shape right, generally your brain kind of fills in the gaps. I'm gonna get some darker color here and do the centers of those. some daisies. So there's a bunch of daisies here. Just gonna kind of later. You kind of need it, that white in it, to get it to show up against that dark green. All these greens that we put in here. Getting some cadmium yellow light here. sure what those are. Look like maybe tulips.
I'm going to bring these up a little bit above the... Above that line there. And get the get some burnt sienna and add a little bit of green. And I got some orange red there to the cadmium red light. So I'm gonna use those for the centers of my daisies here. Even in the centers where you're only really seeing like one color, it's so far away, it's important to kind of give it some variation. So I kind of go in with my darker color and then put in some lighter color on top just to give it a little something extra, a little bit of reddish, a little bit of yellow, just kind of helps make it not so obvious that it's painted on, makes it look more realistic. All right, we'll need to let that dry and give it a second coat because those are not showing up all that well. I'll get some white here, seeing some kind of light pink. Get, there's a lot more flowers on this than I realized. Someone asked earlier if uh, you would glaze the windows to give them that shiny look, but it seems like you've got the effect already with just the white that you put in there for the trees. It gives yeah, it I that shiny it look. did them a little bit differently since there was a very specific highlight in the windows. You can't really just glaze it. Mm -hmm. You have to paint it in. This is a 3 8 inch brush again. I'm going to get my magenta and my cadmium red light. These two together make a really pretty cherry red. Get a 
a little bit more of the orangey tone for over here. And then I'm just dabbing, kind of pulling down a little bit. I don't know what kind of flowers those are, but I'm just seeing kind of a downward. Make sure I've got enough paint on my brush that I get really good clean dabs. In there should cover enough that I don't have to do this again. And get a little bit of the darker red, and go back over, add a little shadowing. And then get the magenta. Just a little bit. That'll make that dark burgundy color that I'm seeing. Just tap that in. Literally just dabbing with the tip of the brush. shapes and your brain kind of fills in the rest you don't have to do a whole lot okay you don't know my brain very well then <laughs> you need to work a little harder than this with your brain yeah yeah mm-hmm <laughs> Getting a little bit of white, adding it to this color so that I get little highlights here and there. I like it. And then getting that magenta, maybe a little bit of white with the magenta. Doing some pinker flowers. These are kind of looks like roses. And try to kind of control the shape a little bit more. <sighs> but you see now how we really can't even see the ledge at all anymore. Got so much going on. That's how it should be. All right, let's get some cadmium yellow, medium, and light here. Kind of just gonna have both on my brush here and do nice bright. Highlights on my daisies. If you want to, you could you could uh, do white on your daisies first and then do this yellow and it'll make them even brighter, really make them pop.
making them stand out a little bit better. Getting there. Almost done. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Everybody starts leaving when I say that. <laughs> I've got something really important at the end that you have to wait for. <laughs> Don't leave. No. you want and yours just running out of time here this is really fun though it's been a fun one to paint I enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed it too give it a thumbs up if you did like subscribe all that good stuff if you haven't already appreciate you guys hanging out with us during our live streams like this really really makes a difference for our numbers helps YouTube know that people want to see our videos when they show up for the live streams so it appreciate is. though yeah it does it really gives it it gives the good the video a little bit more of a a bump so it gets shared with more people afterwards so we appreciate you guys taking the time out of your schedules to do this with us and hang out with us live during our videos it means a lot i know there's lots of other i sit through netflix and i scroll through and looking at all the different things on offer and i'm just like it's amazing that we have anybody that <laughs> watches us there's so many videos and things out there to draw your attention it's oh, amazing. You guys are great. I'm glad we found our people. <laughs> yes. We get to hang out with you guys. It's a lot of fun for us. All right, there we go. I think I'm gonna stop there. I think I, I could. I, I, I do want to do one other thing. I say that it, I'm gonna stop, but I, I do want to highlight my pink flowers, my roses. They need a little. for this but just trying to kind of highlight the tops of the roses so that they kind of have a little bit there we go a little bit more juice looks good get my darker magenta color add a little bit more of that over here I think I feel like the, there's a lot going on in these these red flowers that I don't I haven't done yet but I think it's close enough I might do while you're doing that I'll do a couple there's a couple of daisies in the red that I missed I'm seeing now super chat yay super chat yeah we <coughs> We had uh, three super chatters this evening. Oh, wow. Yeah. The first one is from Cindy and says, love your shows, Angela and Mark. Glad you guys are feeling better. Thank you, Cindy. Heart. 
Thank you very much, we Cindy. Too. We yes. felt pretty bad last week. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> and then Susie has the pair character bowing down saying thank you. Nice. But then she also said that uh, uh, always, <clears throat> Angela, as always, it looks amazing. Thanks Aww. to you and Mark for keeping with us on this journey. Thank you so, so thank much. Thank you, Susie. And <clears throat> this one just came in. Oops. Why is it the same name? No, go away. Go, you go away. This one. <laughs> and from Karen. No special message, but... Uh, Pair character bowing down saying thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you, Karen. <laughs> thank you, Karen. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Yay. Well, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe. Come back next week. Join us for another video. I don't know what we're going to be painting next week. What are we doing? Oh, Bird's Nest. Yay. Third in the series. This is going to be the Red Wing Blackbird. So hopefully you'll join us for that. I'll show you how to paint a bird's nest. I've showed you a couple times already, but we're going to be putting lilacs on it this time. So that's new. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.